beautiful people how are you i'm back again with a more interesting recipe you know what we keep getting better and better and better so today my son wanted to participate in the making of this video and they gave him a, and they gave him a chance so let's let him introduce the ingredients to you Fla. Ile. Fla. no Fla. <laughs> Ah, yeah, let's do this. Flour. Flour. Ooh, milk. 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 Margarine. Margarine. <laughs> <laughs> Baking powder. Baking powder. Baking powder. Sugar. Sugar. Open. Open sugar. Yay! Two eggs. Two eggs. <laughs> Two eggs. Mm -hmm. And lemon zest. Yes. Lemon zest. <laughs> lemon zest. <laughs> he ended up pouring yeah, the milk, but we don't cry about spilt milk. Anyway, so you've seen the ingredients flour, baking powder, margarine, eggs milk lemon zest and sugar so here are our measuring cups and our bowl we're going to add uh, five cups of flour and uh, a cup is equivalent to 120 mil 120 grams so every grams of uh, of uh, flour will do one tablespoon of baking powder so there i am adding five baking powder five tablespoons of baking powder uh-huh um after adding five tablespoons of baking powder we're going to add sugar as for sugar you do what you like you can put as much as you like or as little as you like depending to your liking as for me I'm trying to cut on sugar, but oh no, I just can't do it. See how much sugar I put. Anyway, so we will uh, we will mix the flour, sugar, and uh, and the baking powder. Then add our lemon zest. Here we go. Mm -hmm. That's our lemon zest. I used two lemon zest, two two lemons. Mixing, 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 and mixing as usual. On to our next, I added uh, like some margarine. I didn't measure it, but I will say one and a half tablespoon. Yes, we put it into our flour and then we mix, mix it, mix it using our fingertips. You don't want to warm it, but later on we'll just rub it. Uh, we'll just rub it with using our oh, both of our hands. Then. We rub and rub. We make sure it's well mixed. Then we're going to add eggs. The two eggs. We are going to kamakawa. As usual, we are going to to beat the eggs separately. Kamakawa kamadawa. We beat the two eggs separately. Here we are. Okay. So we beat it. And at this point we are going to add our our milk so after beating it we'll add some milk remember our milk was poured so it was not enough i had to add some more there we go adding milk beating it with the yes eggs. and now we're going to make a hole in the middle of our mixture I don't know what that that does that is what i used to see my mama do and i just do it you know zile recipe yeah your mom your mom's recipe i just did that then we're going to mix it i'll mix it with a spoon first i don't want to get so messy so we are mixing the beaten eggs plus milk together with the flour mixture so we'll keep adding water 
until it becomes uh, a soft dough so we will need and need and need until we get our desired dough texture so you see i'm still adding some more flour flour so we're still kneading remember so we keep kneading da 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 da, da. <laughs> okay so our dough is now perfectly uh, soft and now we're going to cover with a clean film uh -huh. and let it rest for some while for some time <laughs> I tried covering with this thing how do you people do this <laughs> look at me <laughs> the clean film was not clinging was not clinging it was not doing its thing so <laughs> look at me struggling I just decided to tuck it in it still does the same thing mm -hmm. and then once it's done i'll just take a, a table cloth or rather a kitchen cloth and then cover i want it to be warm i want it to sit for some time as it's uh we place now we place some we pour cooking oil in a pan for frying for frying the mandazis Mm -hmm. Some more and more and more. <laughs> oh, oh, matajiri, good for you anyway. We're going to take our dough, which, I, which has been sitting for a while. And the cling film that disappointed me also goes. See? See our dough. If you want to see your dough is done, try doing that. And you just feel the texture. It's very soft. So it's ready for preparation. Look at it. It doesn't stick in the bowl. It doesn't. That is how you know your dough is perfectly done. Okay. So here we're going to now put some flour on the surface. On our working surface so that it does so that you can roll it and cut it to our desired to our desired uh, shapes so I'll start cutting it first into halves there we go we put one aside then you work with one you see the dough does not stick so I'll still cut it into a half again. So I'll, I'll cut it into quarters. Now, here I am rolling the dough to make it flat. But I'm not going to uh, flatten it so flat like a chapati. I'm just going to leave a, 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 quite a thickness. Because you don't want um, mandazis to be very thin or very uh, thick keep rolling we turn and roll turn and roll to your desired thickness okay we're not done <laughs> still rolling rolling and rolling wow okay so let's check our oil may i use a, a toothpick to check my oil if you dip your toothpick into the oil and then it bubbles your oil is very very ready you see it is very ready so that oil is ready for frying uh, so the next step let me show you closely i don't know if you're seeing the bubbles they are there yes the bubbles are there so our pan our oil is hot hot enough so we are going to now cut our dough into shapes any any shape you want squares rectangles stars love hearts any shape name it aha uh -huh. so there we go 
you cut them also their shapes the shapes are i will not be specific in shapes they're squares rectangles triangles any shape so you see the thickness that is what you wanted now let's now dip them into the cooking oil see that is how it's supposed to be it's supposed to once you dip it into the oil it immediately rises up like it floats if you see your dough staying under the oil for a long time or at the bottom of the pan for a long time just know there's something wrong and uh, and your chapatis will have will have an issue oh it's not chapatis <laughs> your mandazis won't be soft enough anyway so we dip enough mandazis inside there you don't hey, want to overcrowd the, the cooking pan we let them we let them cook on one side for a while give them more time let them cook uh, on one side for some time until it turns golden brown. Then let's see. Let's turn it. And turn. Yeah, I may love it when it's uh, slightly golden brown. That is my desired color. That's how I love it. So we turn. Until uh, both sides are cooked. Uh, we will we'll let it cook, we'll let the other side also cook and uh, when it's done, this is how we serve it look at it, very beautiful, very soft let's see how it cuts if we just look at it ooh, nice don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share and let us know on the comment section how you have turned out or how I did and let me know what else you'd want me to try Adios. Bye.